Hello guys, this is Streets of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But if we'll start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out our personal channel na punta rito at na join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Dears Villa, Anne Abiar, Seisha Love, Arabutit TV, Yans TV, Conistor Channel, CEMB TV, Driveway POV, It's Mommy Rose, Samot Sarin Vlog, Ruby Ann, Ruby Jade, Heart Punsalan, Pamilya Lagan Channel, and Tatay Popsi TV. Isang makulimlim na araw po sa ating lahat, no? Kasi makulimlim eh. Uh, kahapon pa to guys, no? Dito sa, ano, sa, ano, ano pa pala? Uh, Biernes, no? Okay. So, anyway, let's move on with our devotional. But before I'll start devotional, guys, I would like to remind you na may, ano tayo, ha? May feeding program tayo for the less fortunate children dito sa subdivision namin, no? It's our chance to... Bless uh, the children here in our place, no? Uh, gusto ko yun guys na i-bless kayo ni Lord kasi ano, ministry din yung ano, uh, mga bata para sa kanya. Okay, let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open the Bible to James chapter 4 verses 13 to 17. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see are so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, this is about boasting about tomorrow. So, the word of the Lord in James 4, verses 13 to 17 says, Now listen, you who say, Today or tomorrow, we will go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business, and make money. Why you do not even know what will happen tomorrow? What is your life? You are a mist that appear for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast and brag, and such boasting is evil. Anyone then who knows the good he ought to do and doesn't do it sins. Amen and amen. Okay guys, let's now pray. Yes, Lord God, many times we plan of something like that, oh Lord, to go to that city, to work, to earn money for our living and even to support our family members. Lord, as Filipino, this is really the desire of our heart to go abroad, to work. That's why I pray and commit this thing to you. Salamat, dear God, na there are those mga kababayan namin, oh God, na nakakilala sa iyo sa other countries, oh Lord. Thank you for sending us also to other countries in order to share your word that others may also know about you. Lord, bless those OFWs, especially their God, na maraming OFWs na na join sa devotion. Bless the words of their hands. Bless them, oh God, financially that they may have everything, even as they support their family and extended family members, O oh Lord. Lord, I pray for them, for safety also, especially that we are in this turmoil, O oh God. We are so worried on what happened next, O oh Lord. But thank you that we are so covered with your precious blood, that you have covered us with your hands, O oh Lord. Lord, send us down your warring angel to protect us, O oh Lord God from the onslaught of the enemy. Yes, Lord, we commit all these things to you. In this name we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in James chapter 4, verse 14. And it says, You do not even know what will happen tomorrow. Yeah, I agree. No? Okay, uh, we have to spend our day as if it were our last. No? Okay, so... The title of our devotional for this evening, guys, is Unexpected Chains. 
In January 1943, warm Chinook wind hits surface South Dakota, quickly raising the temperatures from negative 4 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 to 7 degrees centigrade. That drastic weather change, a swing of 49 degrees, took place in just two minutes. The widest temperature change recorded in the USA over the 24 hours period is an incredible 103 degrees. On January 15, 1972, Luma, Montana saw the temperature jump from negative 54 to 49 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 48 degrees to 9 degrees centigrade. Grabe no? <laughs> Ang experience ko lang kasi is negative 11. Sudden change, however, is not simply a weather phenomenon. It's sometimes the very nature of life. James reminds us, Now listen, you who say today or tomorrow will go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business, and make money. Why do you not even know what will happen tomorrow? An unexpected Loss, a surprise diagnosis, a financial reversal, or sudden change, like what's happening in the world today. Life is a journey with many unpredictable elements. This is precisely why James warns us to turn from arrogant schemes that do not take the Almighty into account. As he advised us, you ought to say, it is the Lord's will. We will live and do this or that. Kaya siguro, no? Uh, sa Bisaya pa, pag maloy ang Diyos, God willing, yun yung expression sa mga ano kaya, Christians, no? The events of our lives may be uncertain, but one thing is sure. Through all the life's unexpected moments, our God will never leave us. Amen. He is our one constant throughout life. Amen and amen. Guys, are you not worried about the situation this time? No. Uh, if you're going to look at the news, it's all about what's happening no? between the two countries. Yes, maski na andito lang kami sa Asia, but yet, ano, uh, nakatakot talaga, no? Paano kung mayyari naman yung hindi natin inaasahan, di ba? Kaya, let's pray, let's pray. Si Lord ng bahala kung ano ang gagawin niya para sa atin. No? Kaya nga, ang expression is God willing. No? God willing. This just continue to pray. Kasi yung mga anak natin, maski tayo may mga ambition pa rin tayo na gusto pa rin natin i-fulfill. No? Even at my age, no? I still have a dream to ano, na gusto ko pa rin ma-fulfill. Dream, dreams, and so vision. Okay, let's take the warning of James also to always be prepared. Let's take our day as if it were our last. Okay, guys, let's now proceed to the two question. When facing sudden chains, how do you respond? Yes, something really happened to my life, no? Na <clears throat> I wasn't able to sleep well last night because I'm so bothered thinking about the situation. Pero sabi ko, Lord, teach me. How to spend yung moment na mag-praise and worship ako. I have to trust in you and dwell in you. Kaya nga, ngayon, no, kanina, I really spend time, uh, yun, nakikinig lang ng mga Christian music. Nilakas ako talaga yung, ano, yung, yung, ano ko, yung radio ko. While do washing, while do cooking, no, yun. While do cleaning the house. Kailangan talaga natin. Ganyan. Let's fill our mind, no? Let's fill our mind with what is godly and that not the negative one. Okay, second question. What do you think an appropriate faith response to life surprises should you look? Uh, matuto akong magsabi na God willing. God willing, no? Maloy ang Diyos. Kawa, sa awa ng Diyos yun, no? Sa Tagalog pa, no? Kaya... Let's think positive. Kasi, hindi natin napigilan yung mga sudden chains 
na nangyayari sa buhay natin. Okay guys, let's start pray. Father, forgive us for the times we worry over things and we cannot anticipate or can't control and help us to find our rest in you. Amen and Amen. Yes, guys, let's find our rest in God. Guys, God bless us all because I know God will surely bless us ten times better. This again, Rich Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo mulit hanggang sa muli. Paalam!